Charles Harchern, June 5, 1897 to October 9, 2000, was an American philosopher who concentrated primarily on the philosophy of religion and metaphysics. He developed the neoclassical idea of God and produced a modal proof of the existence of God that was a development of St. Anselm's ontological argument. Harchern is also noted for developing Alfred North Whitehead's process philosophy into process theology. Early life and education Harchern pronounced Hart's horn was born in Kittening, Pennsylvania, and was the son of Reverend F. C. Harchern. Among his brothers was the prominent geographer Richard Harchern. Charles attended Haverford College between 1915–17, but then spent two years as a hospital orderly serving in the U.S. Army. He then studied at Harvard University, where he earned the B.A. 1921, M.A. 1922, and Ph.D. 1923 degrees. His doctoral dissertation was on the unity of being. He obtained all three degrees in only four years, an accomplishment believed unique in Harvard's history. From 1923 to 25 Harchern pursued further studies in Europe. He attended the University of Freiburg, where he studied under the phenomenologist Edmund Husserl, and also the University of Marburg, where he studied under Martin Heidegger. He then returned to Harvard University as a research fellow from 1925 to 28, where he and Paul Weiss edited the collected papers of Charles Sanders Pierce v. 1-6 and spent a semester assisting Alfred North Whitehead. Topic. Career. After Harchern worked at Harvard University, he became a professor of philosophy at the University of Chicago 1928 and was also a member of the university's Federated Theological Faculty 1943 He then taught at Emory University 1955 followed by the University of Texas 1962 retirement. He published his last article at age 96 and delivered his last lecture at 98. In addition to his long teaching career at the previous three universities, Harchern was also appointed as a special lecturer or visiting professor at Stanford University, the University of Washington, Yale University, the University of Frankfurt, the University of Melbourne, and Kyoto University. He served as president of the Metaphysical Society of America in 1955. He was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1975. Topic. Intellectual influences Harchern acknowledged that he was greatly influenced by Matthew Arnold Literature and Dogma, Emerson's Essays, Charles Sanders Peirce, and especially by Alfred North Whitehead. Rufus Jones was his Haverford teacher and continuing mentor. He also found inspiration in the works of Josiah Royce Problem of Christianity, William James, Henri Bergson, Ralph Barton Perry and Nikolai Berdave. He conducted a lengthy correspondence over some 23 years with Edgar S. Brightman of Boston University about their respective philosophical and theological views. In turn Harchern has been a seminal influence on the theologians Matthew Fox, Daniel Day Williams, Norman Pittenger, Gregory A. Boyd, Schubert Ogden and John B. Cobb, on the American philosopher Frank Ebersole and on the Australian biologist futurologist Charles Birch. Topic. Philosophy and theology The intellectual movement with which Harchern is associated is generally referred to as process theology. The roots of process thinking can be found in the Greek philosopher Heraclitus. Contemporary process philosophy arose from the work of Alfred North Whitehead, while Harchern is identified as the seminal influence on process theology that emerged after World War II. The key motifs of process philosophy are, empiricism, relationalism, process, and events. The motif of empiricism in process thought refers to the theme that experience is the realm for defining meaning and verifying any theory of reality. Unlike classical empiricism, process thought takes the category of thinking beyond just the human senses of perception. Experiences are not confined to sense perception or consciousness, and there are pre-sensual, pre-conscious experiences from which consciousness and perception derive. The motif of relationalism refers to both experiences and relationships. Humans experience things and also experience the relationship between things. 
The motif of process means that all time, history and change are in a dynamic evolutionary process. The final motif of events refers to all the units organic and inorganic of the world. While Harchern acknowledges the importance of Whitehead's philosophy on his own ideas, he did not entirely agree with Whitehead. In Harchern's process theology God and the world exist in a dynamic, changing relationship. God is a dipolar deity. By this Harchern meant that God has both abstract and concrete poles. The abstract pole refers to those elements within God that never vary, such as God's self-identity, while the concrete pole refers to the organic growth in God's perfect knowledge of the world as the world itself develops and changes. Harchern did not accept the classical theistic claim of creatio ex nihilo creation out of nothing, and instead held to creatio ex materia creation out of pre-existent material. One of the technical terms Harchern used is panentheism, originally coined by Carl Christian Friedrich Krause in 1828. Panentheism all is in God must be differentiated from classical pantheism all is God. In Harchern's theology God is not identical with the world, but God is also not completely independent from the world. God has his self-identity that transcends the earth, but the world is also contained within God. A rough analogy is the relationship between a mother and a fetus. The mother has her own identity and is different from the unborn, yet is intimately connected to the unborn. The unborn is within the womb and attached to the mother via the umbilical cord. Harchern reworked the ontological argument for God's existence as promulgated by Anselm. In Anselm's equation, God is that than which no greater can be conceived. Anselm's argument used the concept of perfection. Harchern accepts that by definition God is perfect. However, Harchern maintains that classical Christian theism has held to a self-contradictory notion of perfection. He argues that the classical concept of God fails. Harchern posited that God's existence is necessary and is compatible with any events in the world. In the economy of his argument Harchern has attempted to break a perceived stalemate in theology over the problem of evil and God's omnipotence. For Harchern, perfection means that God cannot be surpassed in his social relatedness to every creature. God is capable of surpassing himself by growing and changing in his knowledge and feeling for the world. Harchern acknowledged a God capable of change, as is consistent with pandeism, but early on he specifically rejected both deism and pandeism in favor of panentheism, writing that, "...panentheistic doctrine contains all of deism and pandeism except their arbitrary negations." Harchern did not believe in the immortality of human souls as identities separate from God, but explained that all the beauty created in a person's life will exist forever in the reality of God. This can be understood in a way reminiscent of Hinduism, or perhaps Buddhism sunyata emptiness ontology namely that a person's identity is extinguished in one's ultimate union with God, but that a person's life within God is eternal. Harchern regularly attended services at several Unitarian Universalist churches, and joined the first Unitarian Universalist church in Austin, Texas. Criticisms Harchern's philosophical and theological views have received criticism from many different quarters. Positive criticism has underscored that Harchern's emphasis on change and process and creativity has acted as a great corrective to static thinking about causal laws and determinism. Several commentators affirm that his position offers metaphysical coherence by providing a coherent set of concepts. Others indicate that Harchern has quite properly placed a valuable emphasis on appreciating nature even evidenced in Harchern's hobby for bird watching. His emphasis on nature and human divine relationships to the world has goaded reflective work on developing theologies about pollution, resource degradation, and a philosophy of ecology. Allied to this has been Harchern's emphasis on aesthetics and beauty. In his system of thought, science and theology achieve some integration as science and theology provide data for each other. Harchern has also been an important figure in upholding natural theology, and in offering an understanding of God as a personal, dynamic being. It is accepted by many philosophers that Harchern made the idea of perfection rationally conceivable, and so his contribution to the ontological argument is deemed to be valuable for modern philosophical discussion. It has been said that Harchern has placed an interesting emphasis on affirming that the God who loves the creation also endures suffering. In his theological thought the centrality of love is very strong, particularly in his interpretation of God, nature and all living creatures. 
Harchern is also appreciated for his philosophical interest in Buddhism, and in stimulating others in new approaches to inter-religious cooperation and dialogue. Langdon Gilkey questioned Harchern's assumptions about human reasoning experiences. Gilkey pointed out that Harchern assumes there is an objective or rational structure to the whole universe, and he then assumes that human thought can acquire accurate and adequate knowledge of the universe. In Harchern's theology there is no literal first event in the universe, and the universe is thus regarded as an actually infinite reality. This has led some to point out that as Harchern has emphasized that every event has been partly determined by previous events, his thought is susceptible to the fallacy of the infinite regress. Other critics question the adequacy of panentheism. The point of tension in Harchern's theology is whether God is really worthy of worship since God needs the world in order to be a complete being. Traditional theism posits that God is a complete being before the creation of the world. Others find that his argument about God's perfection is flawed by confusing existential necessity with logical necessity. In classical Protestant and evangelical thought, Harchern's theology has received strong criticism. In these theological networks Harchern's panentheist reinterpretation of God's nature has been deemed to be incompatible with biblical revelation and the classic creedal formulations of the Trinity. Critics such as Royce Gruenler, Ronald Nash and Norman Geisler argue that Harchern does not offer a tripersonal view of the Trinity, and instead his interpretation of Christ Christology has some affinities with the early heresy of the Ebionites. It is also argued that Harchern's theology entails a denial of divine foreknowledge and predestination to salvation. Harchern is also criticized for his denial or devaluing of Christ's miracles and the supernatural events mentioned in the Bible. Other criticisms are that Harchern gives little attention to the classical theological concepts of God's holiness, and that the awe of God is an undeveloped element in his writings. Alan Gregg criticizes Harchern's highly optimistic view of humanity, and hence its lack of emphasis on human depravity, guilt and sin. Allied to these criticisms is the assertion that Harchern overemphasizes aesthetics and is correspondingly weak on ethics and morality. Others have indicated that Harchern failed to understand traditional Christian views about petitionary prayer and survival of the individual in the afterlife. Topic works The Philosophy and Psychology of Sensation, Chicago, Chicago University Press, 1934, reprint Kennecat Press 1968 Beyond Humanism, Essays in the New Philosophy of Nature, Chicago, New York, Willett, Clark & Co., 1937 also published as Beyond Humanism, Essays in the Philosophy of Nature by University of Nebraska Press, 1968 Man's Vision of God and the Logic of Theism, Willett, Clark & Company, 1941, reprint Hamden, Archon, 1964, ISBN 0-208-00498-X The Divine Relativity, A Social Conception of God, Terry Lectures, New Haven, Yale University Press, 1948, reprint ed. 1983, ISBN 0-300-02880-6 The Logic of Perfection and Other Essays in Neoclassical Metaphysics, La Salle, Open Court, 1962, reprint ed. 1973, ISBN 0-87548-037-3 Philosophers Speak of God, edited with William L. Rees, University of Chicago Press, 1963, Amherst, Humanity Books, reprint ed. 2000, ISBN 1-57392-815-1 50 selections spanning the breadth of both Eastern and Western thought Anselm's Discovery, La Salle, Open Court, 1965 A Natural Theology for Our Time, La Salle, Open Court, 1967, reprint ed. 1992, ISBN 0-87548-239-2 Creative Synthesis and Philosophic Method, SCM. Press, 1970, ISBN 0 334 00269 9. Reality as Social Process, New York, Hafner, 1971. Whitehead's Philosophy, Selected Essays, 1935 1970, University of Nebraska Press, 1972, ISBN 0 8032 0806 5. Aquinas to Whitehead, Seven Centuries of Metaphysics of Religion, Marquette University Publications, 1976, ISBN 0 8 8-7462-141-0 Whitehead's View of Reality, with Creighton Peden, New York, Pilgrim Press, Rev. ed. 
1981, ISBN 0-8298-0381-5 Insights and Oversights of Great Thinkers, An Evaluation of Western Philosophy, Albany, State University of New York Press, 1983, ISBN 0-87395-682-6 Creativity in American Philosophy, Albany, State University of New York Press, 1984, ISBN 0-87395-817-9 Omnipotence and Other Theological Mistakes, Albany, State University of New York Press, 1984, ISBN 0-87395-771-7 Wisdom as Moderation, Albany, State University of New York Press, 1987, ISBN 0-88706-473-6 The Darkness and the Light, A Philosopher Reflects Upon His Fortunate Career and Those Who Made It Possible, Albany, State University of New York Press, 1990, ISBN 0-7914-0337-8 Born to Sing, An Interpretation and World Survey of Bird Song, Indiana Univ Press, 1992, ISBN 0-253-20743-6 The Zero Fallacy, and Other Essays in Neoclassical Philosophy, edited with Muhammad Vladi, Open Court, 1997, ISBN 0-8126-9324-8 See also American Philosophy List of American Philosophers List of Science and Religion Scholars Topic References Topic Sources Topic Biographical and Intellectual Randall E. Oxier and Mark Y. A. Davies, eds. Harchern and Brightman on God, Process, and Persons, The Correspondence 1922-1945 Nashville, Vanderbilt University Press, 2001. John B. Cobb and Franklin I. Gamwell, eds. Existence and Actuality, Conversations with Charles Harchern Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 1984, ISBN 0-226-11123-7, Online Edition William L. Rees and Eugene Freeman, eds. Process and Divinity, The Harchern Festschrift La Salle, Open Court, 1964. Topic interpretations and influences William A. Beardsley, Hope in Biblical Eschatology and in Process Theology, Journal of the American Academy of Religion, 38 September 1970, pp. 227-239. Charles Birch, Participatory Evolution, The Drive of Creation, Journal of the American Academy of Religion, 40 June 1972, pp. 147-163. Charles Birch, On Purpose, Kensington, New South Wales University Press, 1990. Delwyn Brown, Ralph E. James and Jean Reeves, eds. Process Philosophy and Christian Thought Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1971. John B. Cobb, God and the World, Philadelphia, Westminster, 1969. Carol P. Christ, She Who Changes, Reimagining the Divine in the World, Palgrave Macmillan, 2003, ISBN 1-4039-6083-6 George L. Goodwin, Ontological Argument of Charles Harchern, Scholars Press, 1978, ISBN 0-89130-228-X, Published Dissertation Schubert Ogden, The Reality of God and Other Essays, New York, Harper and Rowe, 1966. Norman Pittenger, Christology Reconsidered, London, SCM Press, 1970. Donald W. Viney, Charles Harchern and the Existence of God, Forward by Charles Harchern, State University of New York Press, 1985, ISBN 0-87395-907-8 Hardcover, ISBN 0-87395-908-6 Paperback, Santiago Sia, Editor, Charles Harchern's Concept of God, Philosophical and Theological Responses, Springer, 1989, ISBN 0-7923-0290-7 Santiago Sia, Religion, Reason, and God, Essays in the Philosophies of Charles Harchern and A.N. Whitehead, Peter Lang Publisher, 2004, ISBN 3-631-50855-7 Barry L. Whitney, Evil and the Process God, Toronto, Edwin Mellon Press, 1985 Topic Critical Assessments Gregory A. Boyd, Trinity and Process, A Critical Evaluation and Reconstruction of Harchern's Depolar Theism Towards a Trinitarian Metaphysic New York, P. Lang, 1992. Robert J. Connolly, Whitehead vs. Harchern, Basic Metaphysical Issues Washington, D.C., University Press of America, 1981. Daniel A. Dombrowski, Harchern and the Metaphysics of Animal Rights Albany, State University of New York Press, 1988. 
Daniel A. Dombrowski, Analytic Theism, Harchern, and the Concept of God Albany, State University of New York Press, 1996. Langdon Gilkey, Naming the Whirlwind Indianapolis, Bob's Merrill, 1969. Alan Gregg, Charles Harchern Waco, Word Publishing, 1973. Royce G. Gruenler, The Inexhaustible God, Biblical Faith and the Challenge of Process Theism Grand Rapids, Baker, 1983. Colin Gunton, Becoming and Being, The Doctrine of God in Charles Harchern and Karl Barth Oxford, Oxford University Press, 1978. Louis Edwin Hahn, ed. The Philosophy of Charles Harchern La Salle, Open Court, 1991. Bernard M. Loomer, Process Theology, Origins, Strengths, Weaknesses, Process Studies, 16 Winter 1987, pp. 245-254. Ronald H. Nash, ed. Process Theology Grand Rapids, Baker, 1987. Douglas Pratt, Relational Deity, Harchern and McCary on God Lanham, University Press of America, 2002. Edgar A. Town, Two Types of Theism, Knowledge of God in the Thought of Paul Tillich and Charles Harchern New York, P. Lang, 1997. Michelle Weber and Will Desmond, eds. Handbook of Whiteheadian Process Thought, Frankfurt, Lancaster, Antos Verlag, Process Thought X1 and X2, 2008. Topic external links Charles Harchern by Dan Dombrowski, from the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy Harchern's collected papers are archived at the Center for Process Studies Harchern's ornithological works are housed at Florida Museum of Natural History Online Biography of Harchern from American Philosophers Before 1950, Dictionary of Literary Biography, Volume 270 Charles Harchern, The Einstein of Religious Thought with a Short Biography, Photos and Sayings Charles Harchern Archive at anthonyflood.com Special Harchern Edition PDF, Process Perspectives Newsletter of the Center for Process Studies, v. 20, n. 3, Spring 1997. Includes reminiscences by Harchern. Special Harchern Tribute, Process Studies 25, 1996, includes two new Harchern articles Special Focus on Harchern, ed. Barry Whitney and Don Viney, Process Studies 30. 2, 2001, four Harchern articles and discussion.